Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Classic Tycoon here, and today we're back for another member showcase. Today, we're doing an exclusive member showcase of James Curry. He sent me a park with over 50 roller coasters in it, and we're going to take a look through it today. Member showcases are special videos that I do for people who are members of my channel, and these guys um, are paying for a monthly subscription and they do it at at least the member showcase level in my tiers. But if you would like to learn how to become a member of my channel, whether that be a member showcase member or a member that just um, that's just a small monthly donation to the channel to help support what I do, then there will be a link in the description. All right, let's jump right in today. So first thing we're going to do is check out uh, the park a little bit, see what's going on. And then we'll we'll highlight a few things. Now this park is called Unnamed Park. Looks like he just decided not to name the park. Um, you can see it's got 209 attractions, 187 staff, and well over 7,000 guests. Um, it does look like he's decided not to have any money running in this park, so it's a sandbox mode, so you can just build whatever he wants. Um, the downside to doing that is that um, a lot of times I have a, I think it's harder to get a high park rating in those cases. And stuff like this happens where, you know, guests aren't filtering in and out of the park at all, um, or nearly as much until they're just absolutely angry, right? Um, they don't leave because of money problems. So they end up just staying in the park until they're completely pissed off as much as possible before they leave, which can affect the park rating a lot. But if you don't care about that that much, you know, and you just want to have fun building roller coasters, that's the best option. All right. So as you can see, this place is uh, full of roller coasters just weaving in and out of each other. Um, it's hard to see what's going on. There will be some lag and things like that because once you get a park of this size with this many guests and this many things going on, uh, it's a lot for the the game to handle. So there's going to be a little bit of lag going on throughout the video. Nothing, nothing too crazy or anything, but um, just a little bit here and there. So the first roller coaster I wanted to check out was the side friction roller coaster. I know James has told me in the past that he makes some good side friction roller coasters, um, particularly in a video where I said that the side friction was one of my least favorite roller coasters to build in the entire game. So this looks like a pretty decent one. It's got some good ratings in it, much better ratings than I get with my uh, side friction roller coasters. If you can. I can attest to that by you guys going and watching the uh, Million Dollar Mission series when I attempt to build these that just crash all over the place. But um, but yeah, this is a good one. I know that side friction roller coasters, they are possible to build and be good roller coasters, but I don't like them very much. But this is a good one. This is a good one. And he, you can see he's making good use of brakes so that the, the coaster doesn't fly off the tracks there. So nice job on that one. I do recognize a few of these roller coasters, like this one here, um, and I think this one here as well, the Demon. Um, I'm pretty sure these were shared in other member showcases, so you guys can go check those out in other videos. He's got some other, you know, rides going on here. Um, just a whole bunch of roller coasters. I like that there's a super long line to get to the swinging ship there. That cracks me up a little bit. Yeah, as you guys can see, just endless amounts of roller coasters. The pretzel, this one I remember in the showcase as well. Let's see if we can find one here to check out that we haven't seen before. This is a wooden roller coaster. It's got some good ratings on there. check out this suspended swinging coaster and see what this one's looking like. So 
So a nice suspended roller coaster there. Lots of other roller coasters around it to, uh, to help out with ratings on these. I'm sure that all these roller coasters with so much going on around them, the excitement ratings are bumping up a lot. He's got some of these little roller coasters around here as well. Here's a small wooden roller coaster. Um, you got the spiral roller coaster here that's broken down, so we will wait on that one. Here's a nice looking twist roller coaster, Ice Palace. Um, I can't remember, I feel like you shared this one with us before. I can't quite remember on this one, but let's watch this one for a little bit. We'll check out a few more roller coasters here. See, here's a little bit of that lag kicking in, especially when you get into these areas with these big crowds. There's just so much to process. Some great ratings on that roller coaster there. You got some good looking bobsleigh roller coasters and, and things of that nature in the background there. Very nice looking roller coasters. Here's a good roller coaster here. Let's check out this Giga Coaster. Let's see the ratings on this. So you got a 9.13 excitement rating with under an 8 intensity rating. And that's one of my favorite things about Giga Coasters is you can just get crazy ratings out of them. Really, really good ratings with these Giga Coasters. So let's check this one out. We'll watch this one go. Lots of rides breaking down, but obviously <laughs> that's just the way that it goes. When you've got a park with over 50 roller coasters in it, they're just going to be... you got to have lots of mechanics because they will be busy. Massive drops there at the beginning. Get some nice air time for those guests. Here at the end we got some more of the more of the crazy stuff. You can see the speed that this thing is traveling at through here pretty quick. There you go. Very well done on that giga coaster. Let's check out a couple more of these and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. So we just got some good ratings all around on these roller coasters. Telling us obviously what he's doing here. Um, looking over at these roller coasters at the end, I like how he's just kind of raised the raised the uh, the ground up super high to get some tunnels going on there. That's funny. Um, yeah, just an endless amount of roller coasters. And lots and lots of guests, too. And they're not leaving the park, so that's a good sign. Here's the demon. So we had the demon, and then we had the demon. And I'm not sure which one of those you shared with me. I remember you did share one of them with me, and they both look very similar. Um, I did want to check out this coaster here, the Cerberus coaster. See, that's got a really, some really good ratings there, over an 8 um, excitement with under a 7 intensity, so that's good. Twister roller coaster number 34 he's got right next to it. I thought that was funny.
Very nice placement of your uh, on-ride photo section right there. That's good. I like the way the roller coaster just kind of catches right at the top of the hill. Like it's not quite gonna make it and then it goes over the, the top. That's very exciting for the guests. And there you have it, there's that Cerberus coaster. So let's check out a couple more little things um, and then we, we will wrap it up here. And but yeah, as you guys can see, just a lot of lot of stuff. Look at the colors in this park. You just there's so much in there. You know, you can barely see the green of the ground. And um, yeah, just a cool park. I mean, it looks like you had a lot of fun building this park. It reminds me a lot of the Million Dollar Mission series where there's just such a huge mess of roller coasters going on. But you know, that's what I have the most fun doing. I don't necessarily enjoy making my park look as pretty as it possibly can be. I just like throwing in tons of roller coasters and having the guests enjoy it and, you know, the challenge of keeping them happy and, and um, you know, staying on top of the handyman and the mechanics. You can see how many mechanics and handyman he's got. That's another. That's one nice thing about the no money is you don't have to worry about how much you're paying out in staff because they are definitely the biggest expense in parks with money but um but yeah this is a, a cool park i guess i didn't check and see how many entertainers you have i bet having a lot of entertainers in the park would bump up your park rating um i think that would be a, a good idea but anyways that's unnamed park so thanks james for sharing that again if any of you would like to share things with me to share with others on the channel you just got to become a member of the channel these are my members that um, support me right now thank you guys so much again if you'd like to have more information on what you could do to become a member go ahead and check out the link in the description below i'll see you guys next time